Hello Gemini, this is Renee and welcome to my channel. Um, this would be your love reading for January. We'll go with January 1st through the 13th. Um, but yeah, this would be your love reading for January. What's going on with Gemini for January? What's going on for Gemini in love? Okay, self-acceptance. Okay, I feel like you're working on your self-esteem. You may be doing something to improve yourself, Gemini. Maybe you're changing your look. You are, yeah, I, I really feel like maybe you're, you've got some sort of resolutions that you're trying to keep. Healing, yeah, because you have self-acceptance and you have healing energy. So you're definitely working on yourself, Gemini. You're working on yourself. You're working on your healing. Um, and you may also be meditating. You have listened deeply. So you may also be meditating as well, working on yourself. Very interesting, Gemini. So what's going on with Gemini in love? What can Gemini expect? January, 1st through the 15th in love. What can Gemini expect? The devil. Actually, the devil came out in reverse. We'll keep him reversed. Definitely. So, Gemini, I feel like you are working on releasing blocks. You're working on releasing blocked energy. You're working on letting go of things that <clears throat> are really bad for your soul at the moment. You may be working on your health, on um, eating better. Um, but I, I really feel like you're working on your situation, um, on your inner being. working on those things that may tempt you because you have the page of swords too and the page of swords you know that's a very curious energy they're very curious they they're looking for knowledge they're they may be researching information um so yeah i, I definitely feel like you're looking into releasing these blocks you may be start um going to some kind of group that gives you support in the situation. Okay, the moon. You know what, Gemini? This could also be you releasing yourself from from a relationship that isn't really working out. I feel like you're 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 doing some research on this person. You're digging into a situation. You're kind of trying to find out something. You may be following this person. You may be having them investigated because I feel like with this moon card, I feel like you're finding things out. You're definitely finding things out. You have the two of swords in reverse. So I feel like, Gemini, I feel like you're seeing your choices as limited. Why do you feel like your choices are limited? You also have the Knight of Cups. Do you feel like your choices are limited in love? Maybe the people that are approaching you, <laughs> you feel like your choices are limited. I'm trying to get that. I'm trying to understand what that means. If that resonates with you, um, explain it to me, Gemini, because that's kind of got me very interested. 
What is this? Your choices are limited. And the Knight of Cups. Someone is offering you something. Someone's asking you out. Maybe they don't meet up to your standards or maybe they, I'm trying to get this, wow. Okay, tell me more spirit. Tell me more for Gemini. The strength card. Hey, you got the strength card in reverse. What are you doing, Gemini? Hmm. Yeah, you need to take more time out, Gemini, and <laughs> show yourself some appreciation. Lift your confidence. Do something that's a confidence booster. And I, I feel like that's what you really want to work on with this self-acceptance and this healing energy. Um, that's a, exactly what you want to work on. I believe that's the reason why this strength card is coming out in reverse. Because you're you're working on this situation, but you haven't got there yet. You know what I mean? Um, showing yourself that unconditional love, accepting yourself for exactly who you are, how you look, how you you know carry yourself. You are a beautiful, unique person, Gemini. There's no one in the world like you. Accept and love yourself. Okay, we have some cards that fell. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so we have the High Priestess and the Ace of Wands. So you definitely want a new way of thinking. You want to trust yourself more. You want to open up your intuition, open up your intellect to um, really see yourself as you are. You're a beautiful being, Gemini. You're a beautiful soul. And I believe that you need some inspiration to kind of take you to this next level, to open up the secrets and mysteries that you're, you're looking for. You're looking to find courage. You're looking to find um, strength in this situation. King of Swords. And we have the Knight of Swords. At the bottom, we have the Ten of Cups. Okay, so, you know what, Gemini, I, I feel like trusting yourself is going to lead you into a more inspiring direction. It's going to kind of I feel like you you need this flame kind of ignited under you you know what I mean and I, I feel like to do that this king of swords energy I feel like someone's going to be very blunt with you they're going to be very blunt open and honest with you and let you know just how appealing you are. Just how beautiful you are. How fiery your spirit is. I feel like this person is going to be totally honest with you. They may even be kind of honest to a fault. And let you know, okay, Gemini, this may be what you want to change in order to get the attention that you're looking for. Maybe if you change your hair, or maybe if you wear it differently, or, you know, maybe you go to work without any makeup. Maybe if you put a little bit of, you know, foundation on to give you a little bit more color, or, you know, really 
do some liner or shadow to um, bring out your eyes. But I, I feel like, and that's if you're a female, you know, this could be a male as well. But um, very interesting, Gemini. Yeah, I, I feel like this person, this King of Swords, he's very, or she's very, fast talking, very quick witted. This may be someone who's approaching you for this night of cup situation. Maybe that's the reason why you feel like your choices are limited because this person is coming at you like and they're kind of coming at you at the diagonal. <laughs> they're not really coming correct. What is this King of Swords, Knight of Swords spirit? What is this situation? Me. Yes, someone's I feel like this King of Swords, he or she is gonna bring the hard truth to you. Yeah, they're going to bring the hard truth to you. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. You have the Nine of Pentacles. After hearing this truth, you may want to be single a little bit longer. I don't feel like this person is coming to you correct. This person is they're not telling you exactly what you want to hear. They're definitely not. I feel like they're speaking very bluntly. They're telling you the truth from their point of view and I feel like it's something that you definitely don't want to hear. You want to man you kind of want to do things on your own you don't want yeah you may want to be single a little while longer after this person says this situation especially feeling like your choices are limited here yeah you definitely you may this person may bring it out of you that you're kind of you're in conflict. But you know what? I feel like this person is telling you this because they're very attracted to you. But I, I don't feel like you're going to be taking it in the in the way that they intended. I feel like they're trying to give you some helpful advice because they want to see you more appealing. But maybe your confidence is so low at the moment that you're taking it the opposite way. Because you do have the King of Cups at the bottom, which you don't really expect. And that is that is love, you know, coming through. If if you are open to love, love is coming through for you. You have the Knight of Cups. You have the King of Swords. Um, you have the King of Cups on the bottom. So I, I do feel like if, it, if you are open to love, love is coming through, but you have to be open to it. But I feel like this person kind of annoys you. Something that this person is saying to you is like gotten under your skin. I don't know if that's their way of flirting or 
What is it? What is this Five of Swords energy, spirit? Tell me more about this Five of Swords energy. And the Four of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, this is something that's Yeah, it's, it's something that you definitely don't want to hear. You don't want to hear from this person. This person is asking you out. They are trying to do things, but I feel like they're going about it in the wrong way in your point of view. This is someone who you really don't feel very appealing. And you have the Nine of Swords in reverse. So definitely. I, with this Nine of Swords in reverse, I feel like you're kind of amused by this person. You, you feel like you want to choke them, you know? <laughs> because of the way that they're kind of coming at you in this situation, you feel like you want to... just choke him in this situation. The Nine of Swords in reverse. You got a lot of reversals. Uh, Gemini. So I feel like your energy at the moment is really upside down. Yeah, you may want to align yourself to get out of this energy. What is what can Gemini do to get through this challenge? What can Gemini do to get through this challenge in love? What can Gemini do to get through this challenge in love? Okay, the moon. We have the moon. Yeah, so now see you have the moon twice. So definitely... Definitely you need to stay your direction. I feel like you're working on yourself, Gemini. And I feel like that's the exact di uh, direction that you need to be moving in. Um, it's time to work on yourself. It's time to work on your situation. Um, you need to put more trust in yourself. Have courage. Have faith. Have confidence. You are beautiful, Gemini. You are beautiful. Follow your intuition in this situation. Follow your intuition. And I, I also feel like with this moon card, um, Spirit is letting you know that there are some changes that you need to make. You need to become more aligned um, with yourself, with the universe, maybe with meditation, maybe with some um, mantras. Like, I am a beautiful soul. Gemini. When I put my mind to things, anything I put my mind to is possible. If love is on my mind, 
If I'm open to love, I will attract love. Kind, caring people approach me. You know, mantras. We have the King of Swords again. So we have the King of Swords twice. So I, it, it may be a another air sign that is trying to approach you. Gemini, this may be a Libra, Aquarius, or another Gemini. Because um, you have the King of Swords twice. So definitely. Um, and you already know how air signs are. You know, air signs are very quick-witted. Humorous, sneaky. <laughs> so, yeah, so that's a possibility. We have the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, so Gemini, I, I, I feel like you, you're really looking for, you're really looking for that stable relationship. You really want more stability in your life. You really want someone to give you exactly what you give to them. You want that back in return. So I'm definitely seeing that. I'm, de I'm definitely seeing what you're looking for in a person. Um, kind of the expectations that you have. And you have the Six of Swords. So you know what? For... For the, the remainder of January, I really feel like everything, your emotions are calmed down. You're kind of moving through this energy. Um, you're moving past it. You're becoming more aligned. You're becoming more together and more balanced. So you're moving into a better direction with this Six of Swords energy. And that's going to even make you... Um, <clears throat> Yeah, you have the Ace of Wands at the bottom. Didn't we all have the Ace? Of, yeah, we had the Ace of Wands here as well. Yeah, so I feel like having the Ace of Wands twice, that's definitely going to make you more inspiring. It may be, okay, you have the Ace of Cups as well. So there's definitely love coming through. There's definitely love coming tr through here. Gemini. Okay. So, yeah, that's what I have for you. You have love that's coming through, but I feel like there's things that need to be done in order to put you into the right alignment for to be open for love. And by um, the middle or end of January, I feel like you are putting yourself in a better situation to be open for uh, these new beginnings to come through for you, for love and passion to come through for you. I know this wasn't the fiery reading that you was probably looking for, but this is what I got for you, Gemini. Okay, if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity on your situation. And Gemini, have a wonderful new year. And many blessings to you. Love and light.